Hi, welcome to DIY Donna. I'm Donna, of course. Today we got a small Dollar Tree haul. Um, my Dollar Tree started putting stuff out. I think it was Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday from the truck from Saturday. Well, it normally comes on Friday afternoon, evening, but they don't touch it until Saturday. But anyway, there wasn't much out, so if I don't need, don't know anybody that needs it, I don't pick it up. And considering it was over and over the same stuff, I didn't need it. But we did pick up some things. As all of you guys, I hope know that the vinyl is ringing up 50 cent, and so isn't the metal letters and signs and whatever else anything metal it's bringing up 50 cent as well so let's uh, move on with this haul finally my dollar tree has finally gotten the the nautical roof back so i purchased the 9.5 feet this one is longer and it's thinner and the other one it's thicker i think i purchased one of those two i got my little niecey um a pair of gloves i she is eight months old and she lives in wisconsin and it gets a lot colder than what it does here in ohio so i want her little hands to stay warm even though I know her mommy and daddy would definitely make sure that she is all bundled up. And I also got a pair of these slippers for her because she is wanting to take off. So I purchased her one of these. And then I also purchased one of these. Now these are new to my Dollar Tree now. I know they're not new, new, but they are to my Dollar Tree. I have a project to do with this for the holidays. Um, I seen it on, um, I'll have to look and see what her channel was. She made it for another YouTuber that lost her son this year. And it's called, um, I think she called it Christmas in Heaven. So I gotta pick up a couple ornaments. I'm gonna make one for my uh, brother with my niece's name on it. Okay, I also found, they had these a couple years ago, I believe for a Dollar General, can't remember. But I did purchase one of the sandwich of a house steak buck guys. Those of you guys that don't know, my husband and daughter is big buck guy fans. We all root for the buck guys, but we all don't every day wear the clothes. And that's all my husband owns. And I also found one of these LED tea light candles in the three pack. So I got one for the holidays. And I also purchased the Go Packs. Um, you get six capsules of the 500 milligram each of the Tylenol Extra Strength. I got these to keep in the car. And what else is in this bag? Oh, I also picked up one of these clear shower liners. Um, it's time to change ours. When it's time, I just take it down, throw it away, and get another one. Now, I have never used the Dollar Tree brand before, um, but it feels like it's heavier than the other one they had. This is a 70 in by 72. And then 
we want to change shower curtains and if this is plastic and I believe it is um, what do I expect for dollars twenty five then right? Um, a shower curtain. I like the designs in it. And I think it'd be okay for fall. But then I'm looking at the colors and I'm like, hmm. So anyway, let's move on. I always ramble. Okay, I also got one of the white vinyls. I picked up a blue vinyl, a silver glitter vinyl, and another black vinyl. Okay, the, this is new to the, our Dollar Tree. It's from Extra Care Hair Removing Shower Cream. Um, coconut oil and vitamin E. Oh, I cannot talk today. It is eight ounces, and I have not opened it to see if it smells like coconut. I thought this would be a good, I know it says hair remover, but I think it would be a good shower cream. Yeah, it's thick enough that we can make it a shower cream. But it has an odor of hair removal. If you've ever smelt hair removal, that's what this smells like. Okay, so now let me clear the table. thicker and you lose a foot for the thickness okay and then I got a project to do I got the witches um, wreath frame now I have not seen them this year but I did get told the big Halloween truck came in yesterday so after this video me and Maya are going to go run to our Dollar Tree. So I'm going to do the um, witch's hat, but I'm going to use the deco mash in black, and I also got purple. I'm going to wrap the top, and then the bottom I'm going to do the curly rings. And I purchased one of these because I'm thinking about making the rim purple with a trick within the middle of the purple a black ribbon as well around the brim of the hat I think that would just make it pop everything go together and that's going to be our door wreath for October and then we will put back up the fall now, I know everybody is using those big Halloween, or ghost that you hang up and they blow in the wind for the um, ghost um, hat that you put it on the paper towel. But, you know, I thought, why not remove her feet and the ribbon, this um, hanger, and use this one as well instead of that big one and I am going to do this project for uh, my home for the holidays 
Alright, so that... Okay, that is that bag. Vinyl, so I'll go ahead and show that to you as well. Alright, so I picked up the red one for Christmas or Valentine's Day. I did pick up another white one. I picked up a green one. And I picked up a light blue. I'm just going to pick one up of each color here and there. I mean, it works the same. It's just thinner than the name brand. Okay, so I'm going to do this bag now. We have a test, taste test to do. Um, after I show everything, then me and Maya is going to taste some new candy that we found during our walkthrough. I purchased uh, one of the boxes of the 40 watt LED light bulb for my bedroom. I got a pair of these socks. I thought it would look cute for the Halloween season. And as all of you guys know, I have been announcing it since last weekend. We have a new baby coming in our family. Our family really needed this miracle. But this miracle is a boy. So I purchased a pair of these little footies that has the sports on it. And they also got the sliding grip thingies on it as well. So I purchased one of those for him. Auntie cannot wait. And finally, we found the space tape. Um, one roll, three feet. It is supposed to help with rugs. You can put your pots and pans and everything on this. It's showing it in the back of what it could hold. So I'm going to give this a try, and after I try it out, I will let you guys know how it works, because there was another kind that we purchased, and I don't remember from where, it didn't work, but the double-sided tape, I hung up a picture six years ago. And that picture is still hanging from that double-sided tape. I, and I found Beavis and Butthead from MTV. And it is a two-pack. You get a gray pair and a black and white pair. A Beavis and Butthead. Now I have three, four, Four and a half, and I'm not talking about grocery bags, duffel bags, like a gym bag, full of socks that I have purchased since this year from the Dollar Tree that I have been putting back for Christmas and um, donation for the holidays. I am going to donate a bunch of socks to the um, women's shelter that they just opened up here in Chiricope. So, um, okay, I'm going to wait on the rest of this stuff because this is the stuff that, well, it's food items. This stuff we're going to taste. Sorry, you guys, we're just trying to keep things cleaned up because, as of you guys know, we are out in our backyard. And I am loving this. Um, yeah. 
I'm wanting a building and I think I'm going to be getting one. But I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch. Alright, so they, like I said, they restocked the rope. So I am, ooh, I'm not going to purchase them anymore. And I'll show you guys here in a sec. Okay, this is the eight foot roll, once again. And then this one is a, sorry, Maya has got the camera downwards instead of like up here when I'm recording. Aha, uh -huh, that's how he should do it. Okay, and this is the 6.8 foot, and it's in the white. And this is what I am talking about, I will never buy again. These are going everywhere, but they're so pretty. And I thought that they would be pretty to go in a wreath, but I wouldn't want all those beads all over my front door area. All right, and this is something new from Forum. I cannot talk. Um, it is 3D fabric paint, and it's pigment, all of it is, and it says BU, and it's one full ounce bottle, and I got it in the white, the black, and pink. Alright, I got one of these for my own fridge, and then I purchased one for friend mail that I'm going to be mailing out. Um, let your faith be bigger than your fear. Be Lord with you, with me. It's with me. I'm sorry, you guys. The Lord is with me. If I could look at it and read it, I'm trying to read it sideways. All right, and these are also new to our Dollar Tree. Now, I know they're not new in the Dollar Tree because I have seen other people haul them and use them. And it is the floating candles. You get a two pack. And let me tell you, I bought some from Timu. And when I say read before you buy, because you need to know the sizes. I assumed that it was going to be this size, but no, they were about this little. So, um, I have learned to read it from now on. All right, and uh, also, these are new to our Dollar Tree, the galvanized metal cans. We have not had these in our Dollar Tree. So I purchased one just because I want to make something, but I don't know if that would be too big. All right, so as you guys know, my friend Maury from over at... Um, L-R-C, Rory's, I'm sorry, L-C-R, Rory's Craft Room. Sorry, Rory. Um, she sent me friend mail. I love her. And it had the lotion from Repair um, that I was on the hunt for. And Paula from over at Paula's MJ Place send it to her through um brim mail and i guess she sent her a couple of extra bottles and paula said it was okay for war to send me one so war sent me one well that was last month i believe that she sent it and it was the month before that when it came out so it's been a couple months so i did not think we were going to ever get them. And in the walkthrough, you will see, there was 
two of each item. I did purchase one item of each and I left one for someone else. But here they are, the lotion and the foot scrub. And these both are four, four ounces. I don't know why I keep doing that today. So, um, I didn't want to be greedy and get the last lotion. And, because I would, <coughs> if they had a couple more, I would have gotten it, another one, to resend back to Rory. But, because it was two of each, I left one for someone else. Sorry, Lori, but if they come back and fully stock, I will get you one and send it back to you, honey. Okay, so, um, I also found these rhinestone gems. You get 1.05 ounces, and they've had all kinds of problems. And we do blue and silver for the last couple of Christmases now. And um, so that's why I purchased the silver and uh, blue, yeah. Now we do have red and green stuff as well, but I love blue with the lights. It's beautiful, ain't it there, Mike? Okay, these are like the clear. They didn't have plain silver, so. I purchased one of those. And look, the cute little bottle. And that's glass. So, I mean, after you're done with your rhinestones. Exactly. Oh, they would make cute little pumpkins. I've just seen a pumpkin just now. I don't know why. Okay, so there is the pretty blue. I'm going to set these over here. Alright, and I purchased pumpkins and um, uh, autumn mix. There's that, and they are six ounces. I'm going to look on my receipt again, but I could have sworn on my receipt it said these were bringing uh, 50 cent? 50 cent. Okay. and then we're going to do the taste test. Okay, we found the toasted cheddar cheese sandwich crackers. You get nine packs of four sandwiches in each pack. Okay, then this is a rebuy and it's 50% more Tootsie Rolls, so I picked up one bag of the Tootsie Rolls. Now these, these are not new, so we're not going to taste these. Okay, and then we found the Mike and Ike cotton candy with watermelon glass flavor. So we are going to be trying this as well, because that's new to our double tree anyway, and I have never seen it. This is a two ounce bag. And then we found the gummy peaches and it's pillable. So that's what's kind of giving me the grossness. Three ounces and 
the banana, gummy banana three ounces. And like I said, these may have been around, we don't know, but we have never seen them in our dollar shop. Okay, since this stuff is the sweet stuff, we're going to try the crackers first, so they don't mess with our taste buds. And you see, I open it to one out. Right. You know, and everybody's taste buds are different. Some may like them, some may hate them. But that's okay because that's what makes us all different. Okay, my here's yours. No, cheers. I'm gonna well, yeah, he done took a bite. They're not. They're not the nasty They're not the nastiest, and they're also not the worst. I could eat them. You need a quick snack. Pick you up a box of this, you get nine. It's also good enough for a kid's lunch pill. I'm gonna get a drink. We're going to try the cotton candy. Get my scissors here. And I'm not going to rip a big old well. I guess it's cotton candy. You kind of got to go me. All right, that's what it looks like down this side there. So good. I cannot smell anything really. All right, Maya. Let me uh, pull it out. Here you go. Well, it fell right off. It's says it smells nice. Okay. Cheers. It's decent. It's not really sweet, and that's what you would want for a kid. Not a whole lot of sugar. But for an adult like me, I want all that sugar. So, I like it. Okay, so now we are going to try the peach. I can't wait to see your face when you eat this. Yeah. It's going to give you flashbacks from like the clam. It's got me. This I can't. Oh, okay. It does not look bad. No. Oh, they Does smell like, like fresh peaches. Oh my goodness. I'm not so with that. No. I'm not so with that at all. But they said they're pillable, and I don't. I'm 
Ooh. It's the texture of the peeling I don't care oh. for. Oh. Okay. It's not bad. Mm. It's really chewy. Aftertaste is really good. Aftertaste is really good. Okay. You don't, it's not a big powerful taste of peach, but you get a slight taste of it. Now, it doesn't taste to me like the mango one. The mango one is the one I do she not like. It. It. She absolutely hated it. That texture. So this was not like that. And I'm glad. And I'm hoping the banana is not like that. I wonder how the bananas will be shaped. Because every time it's different. Right. So we're going to give these a try now. Okay. You can smell banana. Strong wheat taste. I mean smell. That banana smell is familiar though from another type of candy. And they are like banana, shaped like a whole banana. And I'm hoping the texture is not... Oh, like okay. it's And you get, that's the smell. Yes. There you go. And you can see a little bit of white in the bottom of it from the shape of the banana. Now, I'm not going to peel it right. like Maya. Oh, oh. That's so Like a banana. It looks white like a banana. And excuse his hands. Yeah, he um, was working on stuff out here and it's dusty. Where does the peeling actually taste like a peeling of a banana? I don't think it does. I ate the whole thing, but I got the banana taste, is what I got. Because that it's peeling that peeling thing I cannot do. So that is it for this Dollar Tree haul and the taste test. We hope you guys are doing fine, and we will see you in our next one. But don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share this video out because it does help my channel grow. And leave us a comment and let us know what you found this week at the Dollar Tree. And let us know if you found any candies and tell us about them as well and you can follow us over on facebook instagram and tiktok and we will see you guys later bye, bye. for now